Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So this is the continuous series to write a polyfill for the array method. So in this video, we'll be writing a polyfill for a map method. So uh, what are the things we have to pass as a argument to the map and what is what are the default parameter over there and how can we do that? So we'll be seeing that in this video. So before that, we have to uh, see what parameter they expect as a argument to the map and how many ways we can pass a callback to the map and at the end we will write our own callback which will be responsible to create a map for us so we'll do that how to do that so if you are not subscribed to the channel please do subscribe so we have almost covered the five to six videos before this video related to the angular coding series so this will be the continuing series so hope uh, this video will help you in the future as well so please don't forget to subscribe so let's get started so while talking about the map so we have uh, we know that the what is the map so it helps us to transform the whatever input array given to you suppose i want to map this to i want to double this user array so in that case i i will write the map okay so basic syntax for a map is nothing but like the we directly use the map so let me exit okay so this is the one map method i have created over here so what it is doing for us so it is returning the double double object so whatever parameter we are passing map of user so it will taking it so basically before this i think i want to show you one thing user dot map so if you see it is expecting one callback function over here okay and it has the value and index of index number everything okay so we can pass if we have the callback function over here so we can pass the few methods over there let me show you it again so it is expecting first callback okay inside that we are expecting value then it should be a kind of the number or index or index and if you have array or something to it okay so this is the first argument so and the another argument is this argument so we usually don't pass over here to the map so but if you have a basic functionality to transform the given array at that case uh, we use a callback function over here but most of the time if we have only array we want to double so in that case we don't use that so let me show you how to use a method as an argument as a callback okay so we'll do it. let let me print this first so um, so so it will print the result of it okay so this is the double okay so now what we can do we'll do one thing over here now We'll create our own callback and that callback will pass as our own. Okay, so we'll do we will create our own callback over here and we will pass that callback as an argument to the map. Let me show you how can we do that. So we have already used it, okay, and we have to use a map. So now if I pass one function double, okay, so this will be our callback. Now what I can do, we can create a callback like this. We can create another function. It will return I let me do double multiply. Let me give me this two. So we can do like this. And uh, each parameter of map it will return to it. Okay. okay. So now if you print it, it will multiply the each value of the and let me print inside it in the console yeah. like this so now if you see the output you will see the output as a multiplied of the each value correct so uh, what we are doing right, right now over here so we have this user okay user array and we are using a map so the way we talked about the it expect a one callback function so same way we are passing that callback to it and it is passing each value of the array to that callback function and it is returning the whatever transform the value of it so it is creating that array for us and it is printing at the end so these are the two basic way we use a callback so now we have to create our own map so let let me show you how to do that so if you are following this series so you might know about support suppose if you want to add some array method to the dom our own custom methods at that case we have to do one thing so we have to pass as a prototype okay so let me do that as well. 
prototypes dot mind dot mind okay so now what we can do we will do we'll pass one callback to you first first of all so it will expect one callback okay so that we will be responsible to we'll call this one only multiply again so we'll see that how to do that so we are expecting the callback over here so before that we have to create an array because we are pushing something to it and we are passing to the callback and we have to return something okay so this so we are returning each value of it so but here map is creating that in memory and printing at the end so same way we have to do something like forms new array so now so we have whenever we are let me first of all let me call it so you can delete copy this only so this can help us so now instead of calling this one we'll call my okay so this is how we will call it okay so don't see this error right now so it will be not it will not work because we are not done you know, correlated to so okay so what we can do now so if you see that so we are passing instead of passing map we are passing my map now okay so this is expecting one callback okay so this is the callback we are passing to it okay so now what will happen so whatever return value of this callback we have to capture it somewhere okay so for that we have to write a for loop okay so with it only we can do that like and if you following this series so you know that so how to use this over here so how to refer this here so if you know about it how we can act able to access over here this as a your users array so let me know in the comment otherwise uh, we'll see in the next video how i will explain again to it. <laughs> so now what we are doing now so we are creating one array over here okay and whatever the multiply function will return over here we have to push it okay so we have to do like this push. and we have one callback over here already it will expect this dot okay so this is how we'll pass it that value okay so why it is giving another expecting here spelling of function was okay because of that okay so what, what what we have to do now okay so i will explain the code as well so how it is working so let me do return okay so if you see now what we are doing over here let me see it is printing or not okay. invalid array Oh, invalid array. Right. I thought that it will take the length of it, but we are not checking that I because of that it was so that exception. Okay, so let me rerun it. And relate in so yeah. so what we are doing over here so we are printing the console at line number 32 you can see here so let me explain what is the happening over here so we have this user array correct at the top okay that we are using and let me make it a symbol so what we are doing here so we have created this our own map okay so it is expecting one callback okay so the functionality uh, for the map it is said that it is written something to it okay so it will return the transforms array so we have to create our own kind of the transform feature over here so this callback is responsible to execute for the each value of the code okay so we have this multiply already over here so what we'll do over here so whenever it will come to the first index so this dot of zero so it will take first okay one as a first one so it will pass over here and it will return something over here it will push to that new array at the end of the for loop we are returning this new array okay so this is how it is 
it is executing so this is the way we will create our own map so for three to four things we have to remember over here so we can directly call as a map as a each value we can pass as a callback as well we have seen over here so we can call pass as a one callback to the map and third thing is how to create our own map over here so please try these uh, things at your end as well so sometimes uh, if you are applying for the senior level so at that time sometimes the interval will expect how to write our custom array method so please note of this question and another thing i want to say that so if you have any question into related to the anything you can paste in the comment or you can comment out so i i'll be taking three to four questions in each video at the end so we'll be discussing about those so maybe from the next video i will start that so okay so that's it for this video thank you bye bye keep learning